This brief video will show you how to de-rig a Sawmac SF50. We have attempted to show good practices and potential dangers involved in the de-rigging process. You change the valve over in the engine compartment from auger cleaner to tracks. You begin by lowering the main ram to approximately 22 degrees. Do not lower too far to engage bottom rams. This could cause the rig to topple over backwards. Don't walk behind the machine while it's moving. You then remove the track bars and walk the tracks into de-rigging position, one track at a time. Stop. Ensure the rig drivers put the rig on low revs and that the dead man's handle is engaged when placing their locating pins back in the track guides before going under the rig. Next, insert the slew pin into the location under the front of the rig and secure with a pin behind. The next stage is you jib the mast to level. Once at level, you then insert your travel frame. You do this by inserting two locating pings and securing. Do not lower foot to remove the mast bolts. This can cause the rear pin to snap. It's good practice to leave the rotary table above head height to remove the mast pins. You start by taking out the locating bolts which hold the pins in place. Once the locating bolts have been removed, you then insert the slide hammer into the mast pins and, and screw into place. Once the slide hammer is in place, the banks will instruct the rig driver to drip the mast forward. This will put all the weight on the travel frame behind the mast. Once removed, the pins and the locating bolts will be stored in the rig. You then lower the rotary table, making sure that you miss the gates and the auger cleaners down onto the mast stops. You then remove the locating pin on the hydraulic arm and push it forward into transport mode. Next stage is that you slacken off the main winch rope, which will lower the cat head. Do not hold onto the rope until instructed to, else this could cause your fingers to become trapped between the rope and the pulley. Do not climb onto the rotary table to pull the rope out. You pull the main winch rope out the front of the rotary table, leaving a minimum of three turns on the drum. You lower the ancillary line down through the rotary table and then attach a concrete clamp around all the ropes to keep them in place. You then change the valves over from tracks to auger cleaner in the engine compartment. 
banksman will then access the engine canopy and turn the front guard so it doesn't become trapped while you lower the mast. Position a banksman at the front of the rig to ensure the ropes do not get snagged as the mast is lowered. The rig driver will then commence lowering the mast. The banksman will ensure the hydraulic hoses are sitting in the front of the gates but behind the auger cleaner as the mast is lowered. The banksman will ensure the hydraulic hoses sit in the cradles provided on top of the engine canopy and will stop the rig driver immediately if any problems occur. When lowering the mast, be aware that some of the times the ropes end up on the rollers on the cradle. These need removing and placing between the two rollers before the mast is lowered onto the cradle. Make sure the ropes on the mast stay in place. If they slip off, stop and they need replacing onto the mast so they don't get trapped between the mast and the cradle. When the mast approaches the cradle, an alarm will sound in the cab, warning the driver that he needs to activate the cradle override button. This will place the rams into float mode finishing and lowering procedure. Make sure the engine canopy is clear before lowering the cradle. Once the mast has been lowered, ensure you have ample space around the rig. The ropes will be placed on the travel hooks under the mast. You must ensure that the ropes on top of the mast are in place before the ratchet straps are placed around the mast and tightened. This will hold all ropes in place while the mast is moved. The electrical connectors will then be separated A prop will be positioned on the left hand side of the cat head The banksman will instruct the driver to reverse on the right track This will raise the mast section so that the mast bolt and the mast pin can be removed from the rear section of mast. The rig driver will be instructed to track forward on the right track so that the prop can be removed. The turnbuckle will be removed. And the clamp bolts loosened. Once this is done, the 180 bend will be lowered into transport position. The rear section of mast will be split and pushed around 180 degrees. The prop will be placed on the cat head and the rig driver instructed to track back on the right track. Once the mast has been raised high enough, the travel bar will be inserted. Warning, make sure the mast electrics do not get trapped in the travel bar. Make sure once the travel bar is in place, a pin is inserted and secured.
Once the de-rigging procedure has been completed, the turnbuckle needs attaching to the travel frame. We hope you found this video helpful. For more information, please contact one of our team at Central Piling or visit our website at centralpiling.com.